What's going on guys? We're back with another PC video. So I went to Best Buy during the Black Friday sales to try to see if they had any cheap and affordable PCs. Here's a couple of the display models they had. The one I ended up getting was actually not on the display, but they had one in the back. I decided to go with the CyberPower PC Gamer Master Gaming Desktop. So this PC has an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 graphics card. It's got an AMD Ryzen 3 4100 CPU. It does only have 500 gigabyte SSD and it's only got one stick of RAM, which which is eight gigabytes. So the original retail price was $700 and I ended up getting it for 550 with the Black Friday deal which is a pretty good deal if they didn't mark it up to be able to bring it back down for the Black Friday deal. Okay, so let's get into this unboxing. This PC came with a keyboard. It doesn't feel or sound the best, but I'll let you guys hear how it sounds. I will say it's not terrible if this is your first PC, but if you're into mechanical keyboards with the different switches, then you're gonna wanna get one of those. Next, there's this black box, which has this CyberPower goodie bag in it. It just comes with the installation manual. It's got the power cord. It's got the mouse. It's just got a couple different directions, Xbox Game Pass, all that stuff. Here's the mouse. Again, nothing special, but it is pretty lightweight. You could upgrade if you wanted to, but this would get the job done. So now that it's out of the box, I took it to the desk. I took off the side panel to take out the shipping foam and check for any loose wires or connections. Here's a closer look inside. There was a couple wires that were just a little bit loose when I pushed on them, they clicked into place. Besides that, everything else was good. I wanted to check out the cable management. My wife and I both have a custom pre-built PC from CyberPower and they offer professional cable management for an additional fee and we opted out. So obviously the cable management isn't the best. I just wanted to check this out, see how it was and it's honestly pretty good. Next, it's time to hook everything up, power it on, and make sure that it's running correctly. I also got this Acer monitor from Best Buy. It was $80. If you'd like to see more on this monitor, let me know in the comments and I'll put out a video. Okay, so after hooking everything up and turning everything on, we went through the initial setup, which I did off camera. Then I downloaded the Epic Games launcher. I wanted to play a couple different games because in my last PC video, I only played Fortnite and I wanted to show you guys how other games ran. I downloaded OBS to be able to show the gameplay. I also wanted to see how streaming would do since this PC only had one stick of RAM. So I created another Twitch account and at the end of the video is where I show that footage. This PC actually did pretty good. At first it seemed like it was going to start dropping frames or lagging, but eventually it steadied out and it handled Fortnite pretty good. I pulled up the task manager just to show that CPU and GPU were doing pretty good, but the memory is maxed. You definitely need another stick if you want this build.
the next game I tried out is Destroy All Humans, and since it was two players, I got my wife to play with me. Could cause the human workers to strike and The last game I tried out was Roblox. I played a couple different games, but here's some Frontlines gameplay. You can see on the top left that the memory is completely maxed out, so if you did want to get this, you would definitely need another stick of RAM. So as I mentioned earlier, I was going to try streaming. I made another Twitch account, I streamed some Fortnite as well as some videos. I wanted to get all aspects of it. Here's some footage on my wife's phone of the stream. A lot of times if I'm just recording my monitor, the gameplay might look smooth, but the audience is not necessarily getting a smooth stream. So I wanted to show what it was looking like for the audience. Speaking of streaming, I also stream. You can follow me on Twitch at PettyAF double underscore. It might be hard to see, but I checked the creator dashboard and it said the stream quality was excellent. I streamed two videos just to kind of simulate just chatting. I watched them on my phone as they played and there was no lagging, no buffering, anything like that. It was completely fine. In my opinion, this PC for the price that I paid for it is a really good deal. I feel like it's a really good beginner PC in general, but especially if you're going to be a streamer. This PC handled streaming and recording really well. I feel like honestly the only problem that it has is that it's only got one stick of RAM. I feel like if you added at least one more stick, you'd be set. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. If you like this and you want to see more of these type of videos, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video, man. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. It's not a game,